Greetings and welcome, my name is Jake Grayson. I am a wildlife and food forest garden designer and the good news is the plants have arrived for the clifftop garden well some of them, the, the first of many but um, I just wanted to show you the um, oh come on turn around I just wanted to show you the plants what, that, that have arrived they're really, it's funny, I mean I've designed this as a kind of wildlife a scented ornamental wildlife garden but a lot of the plants here are actually proper they're proper forest garden plants. So the kind of showcase, the showpiece is this. Amazing, much bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is um, Arbutus uned unedo, unedo, which is a strawberry tree. So native to uh, Mediterranean, but deals with a wide range of different uh, soils. Good for stabilizing soil as well. So it's ideal for the spot where it's going to go. Relatively slow growing, but this is like well over two meters it's it's fantastic um yeah so that needs staking in because that's a big old tree uh there's a lanicera belgica uh, periclim periclimenum belgica um so belgica is dutch honeysuckle um this is a cult a native r it's a, the periclimenum is the native um, honeysuckle so this is a native r so that was going to go up a um a, a, dead deadwood for the uh for the leylandii but apparently you shouldn't ever leave leylandii and they'll sprout up again so that might have to be a i might have to do something else with that but it will go it'll go somewhere in the garden it's um yeah that'll be fine so that's that's all good and established uh there's a uh, hemerocallis uh which one is it um it's a witch hazel intermediate diane uh, so it has a bit sorry for itself but it has a uh, red flowers on so um that's both that's scented i actually haven't smelt it yet so a little bit but it's been in a cardboard box for at least 24 hours uh, and then we've got aronia um, arbutifolia uh brilliant so this is a relatively small aronia but beautiful uh for a beautiful foliage in the autumn foliage and berries and flowers so that's lovely uh that's this one here and then there is a blueberry uh this is blue suede so vaccinum corribosum i think it is uh, i'll put all these links in the in the pod, in the live stream notes um and that's so funny i don't really know much about blueberries to be honest so that's gonna be quite exciting and it's an order quite an ornamental flower as well again good autumn color and again good berries uh, another aronia, another blueberry. Oh, and then this is one of my. I really like this plant. This is a kind of. This is a honeysuckle, fragrantissima. So fragrantissima, fragrantissima, fragrantissima. So fragrant honeysuckle was a kind of shrub, uh, and it has lovely fragrant flowers. So that's that's a, a good one. Not native, but what the hell. Uh, and then the. Other ones, there's seven of these. This is a myrtle, Myrtus communis, and it's a subspecies, Tarantina, I think it is. So it's like a smaller, um, smaller, smaller one. Oh, where is it? Myrtus, Myrtus communis. So, uh, Bob Myrtle, Bob Myrtle? Myrtle, common myrtle, common myrtle, sorry. And yes, so it has uh, creamy white scented flowers as well. So that's gonna be an evergreen hedge. Growth about a meter and a half, so we'll grow about that big so they've got quite a way to go relatively so grown because they'll be they'll be evergreen uh but it's uh, i'd be an ideal ideal hedge for where they for where they are so i really hope that they do well they're in full sun and it's kind of damp soil so and rich soil as well so they should be good too so that's all the plants oh yes and i went out and bought looking for um lambs here stachys byzantina couldn't really find any and then i just kind of fell for these uh, this is thyme, this is a serapelum, which is a, it's a native R, serif, serfilum, thyme, serf, thyme serfilum, russeting, so it's a, again, native species which has been bred, low growing, pink flowers, uh, so yeah, I'm going to be using those instead, I need to dig in some good drainage, so I'm going to get some grit in places as well, so that's all the, the, the very exciting 